Hey, what's up guys? Isaiah here from FBA Bros. And in this video, super quick, we're going to be teaching you how to scan books as fast as possible and the setups you need. We're also going to be going over how to be efficient when you're scanning books, how to be prepared to scan books, and the two setups for your Bluetooth scanner and your phone to scan books as fast as possible. So hopping right in. <clears throat> First of all, time is money, right? You're going to want to have the necessary tools to be going fast when you're scanning books, and that includes having a good scanning app, such as Scout IQ, that has database mode, right? You don't want to be using live mode because that takes up time to search for the books. You want to be able to download a database and it pops up instantly. You're going to want to have a Bluetooth scanner so that you don't have to screw around with your phone camera, angling it out, scan barcodes. It's going to make your scanning three, four, five times as fast. And you're also going to want focus. Your focus is going to be on scanning as many books as possible right? The more time you scan books, the more time you spend scanning books, the more books you scan, the more money you're going to make overall. And I know that sounds obvious, but it is very easy to get distracted when you're on your phone and stuff. You know, people text you, you got apps popping up, social media. Just keep in mind you're there to scan books. And the more books you scan per hour, the more money you'll make. You're also going to want to come prepared, right? Download a database, like I said, that morning or the night before, right? You want, you're going to want fresh data to make informed decisions about these books. Charge all of your electronics, your Bluetooth scanner, your phone. Make sure they're all charged up. Don't go out into the field with a half-charged phone and have it die right as you reach a good source. Um, and if you do have a problem with your phone or Bluetooth scanner dying, they sell these battery pack kind of things on Amazon. They're like 15 bucks, and uh, they'll charge your electronics three times over. Super useful. Also, bring snacks and water because you don't know if you're going to find a good source, how long you'll be there. And if you skip lunch or something, you're not feeling too good. Just make sure you bring some snacks and water so you can be mentally and physically optimized to scan as many books as possible, as fast as possible. Okay, so the first method is going to be these scotch fasteners attached to both phone and scanner on the backs. So these are kind of little... Uh, fasteners where the backs they have these like peel off things and they're sticky so basically we just cut these in half and then peeled off each half and as you can see here attach one to the back of backs of our phones and ones to the and one to the back of the bluetooth scanner super simple you know way to get this done um and if you don't like that idea i'm going to show you method number two to where you don't have to stick anything on your phone with bluetooth scanner but we have it and it doesn't make any difference on my phone still slides my pockets doesn't get attached to anything <clears throat> not inconvenience at all and it's super easy to attach like this and uh, when you click them together right the two fasteners your phone and your Bluetooth become one unit that you can hold in one hand and you can put on this wrist strap and it also keep your phone strapped to you and this is what we do very simple very easy gets you that one-handed scanning mode so you can use one hand to manipulate books and another to scan super easy method method number two is going to be a running phone case attachment like those kind of arm attachment things you see people run with you're basically gonna put your phone in that put it on your forearm forearm hold your bluetooth in hand and scan books that way and you're kind of looking at your forearm um this is just as a viable option if you want to go this way if this makes more sense to you feel free to go ahead and do it like i said we use the first method first method and that method works fine the whole point of this is just to have one hand free so that you can manipulate books on that bookshelf and scan through so guys, these are two of the easiest methods to do this and scan books the fastest. Again, have a good app, have a database, charge your phone, and choose one of these methods so that you can scan books one-handed and get those books per hour scanned into the hundreds. But guys, that's it for this video. Um, if you want to follow us on Instagram, we have an Instagram where we post daily content, and we also have a Facebook group where you can talk to us about book selling, a private label. That's it for me. Isaiah out.